welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. Today we are in Abbottville, Pennsylvania, and we are at a authentic German restaurant called Hofbrauhaus, which means house of beer. So how can you go wrong there, right? Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna order some authentic German food. We started off with some uh, dunkels, and uh, as you can see from the uh, ambiance, there's all kinds of steins and gnomes and all kinds of fun other things here that uh, really make the place a lot more legit. We just got our beer and they came in these really cool mugs. The restaurant here was actually established in 1958 and has been here serving German food ever since. Everything, well there's a lot of stuff on the menu that's German and they have some American fare on here, but why would we come here for that, right? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna order some food, we're gonna show you what we ordered, and uh, then we're gonna see how well it tastes. All of your main entrees are gonna say that they come with crackers and cheese, their um, in-house cheese spread. So that's this. We're gonna... I'm gonna give this a shot. Let's see here. Mm. Very good. It's way better than Hickory Farms. <laughs> you know what it is? Horseradish. That's what I think. I think it's horseradish. Mm. Would it make sense that German cheese has cheese dip has horseradish? This, this is good. I chose the rouladen, which is a thin piece of steak rolled with onions, relish, bacon. I got um, spetzel on the side, and this is a potato dumpling. So let's take that first bite, which we all know is the best one. Ooh, look at that brown gravy. I'll give you a look at that. It's probably mostly meat, but. Mmm. German food. Hearty. I feel the, the hairs on my chest just popping out right now. <laughs> and then the spatzel. Okay, so I will say, and maybe this is a German food thing. It's just very one note all the way across. It's it's good. It's comforting. I'm not like whoa with it, but it's nothing to complain about. It. It's good. I like this. I will say it's cooked well. The beef is cooked well. This is not a dish you get for bean steak. It needs to be at that texture so it can roll around those onions and that bacon filling. What I got was the special. And the special includes a bratwurst, knackwurst, and a pork chop. And I got a side of mashed potatoes and you can't have German food without kraut. So we're gonna try a little bite of everything. We're gonna start with the bratwurst. Mm. It's really, it's really juicy actually, and it's not not real spicy. It's it's very comforting and very smooth. Now we'll try the knackwurst. That was loud. Let's put a little bit of kraut on it, because I think it's, it's supposed to be with the kraut. That's what you think of when you're eating sausage right there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Now the chop. You know, it's kind of like Amy was saying, there's not a whole lot of uh, different tones and flavors in there. Each one is pretty simple, pretty specific to what you're eating, but it's really kind of what you expect. Two things. I had to get another beer because this dunkel is so good and it's on draft, so that's good. 
although I felt like things were very simple, this gravy ties it all together. I love this gravy. It's not too salty, full of flavor, and it makes kind of every bite, it just like elevates it. You know, we're eating German food here. So if you're familiar with German food at all, you know, it's not gonna have the highs that, that like garlic gives you in Italian food or, you know, it doesn't have a lot of like a sugar in it. So good. And I imagine this probably is the best thing to be eating on a day like today when it's been kind of cold and rainy. Mm, just makes me want to get all comfy. So I'm gonna try the rolling on. And if you look, you can see that it's steak rolled around the onions and the relish. And the bacon. Don't forget about the bacon. Let's not forget the bacon. Mm. It has a really strong onion center in it. And that uh, the steak is pounded really thin. Um, it's really good. It's not, not something like that I recognize that, that I've eaten for. Maybe if you consider like if you took like a like a like a meatloaf and it had a lot of onion in it so you had that meat and that onion flavor mixed together but the texture is totally different so maybe that's a bad comparison I don't know but that's what it makes me think of and this is the uh, sorry if you're German you, but it's spatzel and it's kind of like it almost has like a like a cottage cheese like texture to it but it's potato I don't know, you know, it's all new to me. It's all foreign to me, even though I am German. And uh, look at that. I don't know what that is. That was not pudding. <laughs> all right, so let's give this restaurant a rating. I think that there were some good and some bad with it. The food was very unique. They had a really great menu, a lot of authentic German food that was here. Um, I think though they were a little understaffed. There was only one waitress running the whole place. So there was kind of, you know, it was kind of slow. Um, the food was good. However, the food was, it was kind of plain. You know, it, I felt that there was a lot of things that I could have probably made just the same. I'm gonna add the menu right here. And I'm not gonna put the full menu on. I'm just gonna put on the German fare because the menu was pretty large and I really want you guys to focus on just the German food here. Um, that was after all said and done, didn't get an appetizer, we just got the meals, we got some beer and with the 20% tip came to about 90 bucks. So it was a little spendy. Um, with that being said, I think we're gonna give it a rating of a seven. Um, I definitely recommend if you want to try some authentic German food, if you are in Pennsylvania near Gettysburg, definitely swing in and check it out. Um, it's, it's an experience. We do travel all over, so if you're interested in watching what we're doing besides eating, we're going to go ahead and link our companion channel, Slices of Pie, in the description so you can find us there as well and see what else we experienced while we were in this beautiful area of Pennsylvania. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and shoot us a comment. We're traveling constantly, we're always looking for new places to eat, and we'd love to hear from you guys. So until next time, we'll see ya.